All right, we're back. So, at the end of the last episode, we had a typhoon. So let's go ahead and go see that damage. Oh, that's right. We finally got up, probably enough. In case we don't have to worry about Ellen's note anymore. Be careful because there are some fish that you can't eat raw. Oh, what could... What's the worst I could possibly happen? Let's go eat a whole raw puffer fish right now. I'm pretty sure nothing bad could happen, right? Is it puffer fish that have the poison glands? Eh, I don't remember. So... I recently got a message or whatever asking me why I hate the Xbox One so much and... Well, we have two main reasons. So the first, I think I've actually covered at some point in that they were talking about their whole structure of DRM. They wanted to block these games, you had to be online, and even though they've retracted it since, they're still slowly trying to implement it, and there's the fact that they still want to do it, and overall, the fact that it existed in the first place and they're treating it as like weird a problem kind of just points out that they care more about the money than anything. One sec. Hold that thought. So our crops weren't actually hit too bad. Hopefully our animals are okay. Anyway, so. The second problem with why I hate Xbox One. So, there's been a long, age-long discussion that has probably been beaten to a dead horse, and I won't go too much on to it right now, but there is the question, are video games art? Of course, technically speaking, as I've pointed out, by the definition of art, even your child sticking their finger into diary and drawing on the ball that can constitute as art. Yeah, everything is art, but what the heck in? But the real question is, are video games a higher form of art that have things to offer to humanity and dicks? Capture human expression and all that bullshit. Um, in my opinion, yes. New games are a form of higher art. I'll go more into it at a later point. Let me actually have time to talk about that because. Okay, let's face it. This video is going to be about something 20 minutes long, probably. I don't think we have time to really completely cover my points of why video games are art. But, okay, so we're going to go on that video games are art, and there are, of course, people who treat it as such and create great, great projects. There's Nintendo creating beautiful games like Zelda. Ooh! Special milk. We have... So much great things like okay, there's Zelda that's in our form. Um, Mario 64 is a form of art. There's Final Fantasy 7. There's just well, I could actually list a lot, but yeah, new games are pretty much just great art, but then. There are those like Microsoft that just want to kind of draw everything backwards just by reminding us, well, these are technically just products and we're going to milk the crap out of money. So EA is especially guilty of this too, but it's more noticeable with Microsoft because it's an entire platform just dedicated to gutting you with DLC, rehashing, like literally all shooters are, are seriously the same. Just 
point and shoot, point and shoot. DLC, we weapons, guns, blood, violence, gore. I mean, that was probably my one gripe of Xbox 360 a lot was... It seems like a death. I just don't really care that much. I mean... Games on Nintendo platforms... Generally, like Harvest Moon and... A lot of RPGs or whatever comes from third parties... Has to go through a, an entire list of... Quality assurance for Nintendo and... Has to have a great amount of debug and care. And so, well... These games get all their love on Microsoft, they don't care, because they figure, oh, we can just patch things later, and there are games like Fable 3 that will just come out without any debug whatsoever. Just screwing the players, and they're just pretty much going, well, why do we have to do debug? Why do we have to make quality assurance when they'll just buy it anyway, and we can just add DLC to fix shit later? And it's a cancerous thought, that process, that... I think is negatively impacting the whole concept of games. PS4 is somewhat as bad, but I think Sony is not as bad as Microsoft yet. I'm not exactly proud of the Vita right now just because it seems like Sony essentially sent it out to be shot in the head and I actually like the Vita. So I'm actually kind of mad it's dying because... Oh well! Hmm. Something real, actually somewhat related news to the game I'm actually playing. I know, holy crap, it's amazing. I'm actually talking something relevant to what's on the screen. Um, the new Harvest Moon... Well... I use that term. We're gonna call it Harvest Craft. Harvest Craft is supposed to come out in October, and it actually makes me laugh that they made it cheaper than even the cheap 3DS games. I mean, there are games like um, Animal Crossing that came out at 35 as an apology. What the? It's like when Animal Crossing came out, it was $35, it's kind of an apology, just that it's been so long in development and translation and blah blah blah, and a lot of other games have come out at the same price, you have 35 and then New Harvest Cross is going to cost 30 and it's just making me laugh because they're going to be desperately trying to pitch out. It's the cheapest game at launch I've seen. Even usual shitware from like Disney costs more than that. I'm just laughing and laughing. I'll probably end up getting Harvest Craft. I I'll give you guys a full review of it once it comes out. And hey, I did not. I forgot that they got hit. I had Typhoon too. That's funny. Okay, let's stop by. See Gwen and actually talk to people because we need to befriend people. So I looked up what Martha likes, and most of the stuff she likes is from. Yeah. Spring. So that's actually kind of bad, but. <laughs> try to find things that Martha likes because hey. I want that bigger backpack before winter, but I think I actually blew that chance by now. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> nothing ventured, but nothing gained. Yo. There he has gone. We're too weak to really care about anything, because that's a huge crap ton of stuff to pick today because of the typhoon making us sleep for an extra day. We have money, what was I going to spend it on? I don't think it was a chicken coop quite yet. Got our kitchen. And we should get 
plastered. I think there's a note for drinking like 10 things in a row. Holy crap, I forgot there was a monkey in this game. Is that the first time we've seen a monkey? Someone pointed out to me if it's been in any past episode. Not uh, that at the time of this going up or anytime soon, there are going to be people watching this. Actually, truth be told, right now I'm talking probably to no one but myself. And it's depressing. Hmm. It's actually Jul July now. That's so bizarre. It doesn't even feel like E3 was that long ago. It feels like the build, like, three weeks before E3 were longer than the month after so far. But... Oh gosh, those three weeks leading up to E3 just last forever. And now time doesn't care, it's just moving on, which I'm actually grateful for because there's a freaking drought of games until... I think Zillia comes out on the 26th of August. I think that's the first game we're getting since. So in between Tomodachi Live and Tomodachi Live's release and Tales of Zillia. And... Well, I'm actually passing on Zillia too because I'm broke and get... just going to Dang and on 9 2. It's pretty much backlog season and holy crap if I've been playing a bunch of older games. Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2. I'm currently playing Pokemon Emerald. Okay, Pokemon Emerald. Oh gosh. You for I've only ever played Pokemon Emerald once before and I've played through Ruby and Sapphire dozens upon dozens upon dozens of times. You forget how much they added into Emerald until you you actually go back and play through it. I wonder if they'll keep all the changes they added into Emerald and... Omega Ruby and Sapphire. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Those games are gonna be great. And I'm too lazy to walk all the way back. Let's just go to bed. I'll store some of those flowers in the cupboard. Actually, I'm very grateful that Typhoon didn't destroy as much as it could have. If that Typhoon wanted to, it could have easily destroyed my field. Tore me in a hole and just gone to town. What's the weather going to be tomorrow? I actually need get better in checking that. I... Oh, tomorrow's a festival anyway. Whatever. I'm retarded, see me. Well, luckily... I think we're going to manage to go through the entire first summer with just one typhoon. That means we made it through the first year of having a major catastrophe because it's only winter that has other types of storms like that. And by that point, I don't have any crops. I don't have to care because we're making so much money anyway. And yada yada yada. Yeah, winter's gonna be nice for money, even though. I'm probably still unfortunate not using it. Squirrel. Okay, let's water these crops and then we need to take care of our animals. And we got tomatoes. Um, I'm wondering what additions I can make or whatever. Yeah, I think we'll add a chicken coop in fall, just because that space would be nice. 
I should befriend Thomas so we can get my land. I know there's a patch in Flowerbud we can buy and then nobody will use it even if we haven't bought it. So we can actually start growing crops there. Oh gosh, you have bubbly animation this time. Okay, so flush for you. Okay, pig. Tomorrow's the big day. It's the Shepper Festival. We expect big things out of you. And if you don't win, I'll actually kick the real pig. Oh gosh, we actually need to put more dark souls. Oh crap, last time he was down here. Oops. Eh. We were lazy anyway, we just pretty much sat there. Okay, you gave me special milk yesterday, but you gave me regular crap today as well. How much money do we have? A lot. And Jamie's still beating us. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, how's old man Saber doing? There's we could actually get Clay to befriend him, but I'm lazy as Let's catch a fish for Ray real quick. I want to use dumb fish to actually notice my line. Oh, and this is actually a friendly reminder for those of you. Well, if you want to actually watch this today. We'll have a Nintendo reset today. Go do all your surveys for next year's whatever. And hopefully, we'll get good stuff for Platinum this year. I liked, it. I liked last year's Majora's Mask soundtrack, but the year before, and with the cards and posters, was kind of meh. Don't know how I feel about the pins. So yeah, Club Nintendo, that's a thing. I wish they would actually update their prizes, though, just because I'm currently sitting on 1,700 coins and don't want to spend money on your current crap. Oh well, we'll get something good eventually. Right? Right? Nintendo America's not gonna cheap out on us, right? Hey! hey. They're gonna cheap out on us big time, I can already feel it. Hey! Yeah. That's right, Gwen can actually cook. I swear that's a running gag in some of the other games that nobody, none of the girls can cook. So I'm actually used to people who can't. Like, I think it was Forte and Rune Factory I know can't cook. Well, it's a notable example. I think Anne from this game can't cook. I want you, but we're going to save you. Same with you. Do we have all the utensils or whatever? Let's go to the store and see if we got all the utensils we can buy, because I want to be able to dye wool. After tomorrow, we can actually share Nick or Pig again. Okay, so we can grow crap here, starting spring, because I don't want to move over, move all my crap over quite yet. Okay, what do you got for us? Um, 
Good, you're still in tutorial mode. That's right, because it's cheaper for me to go upgrade my crap than it is just to buy a whole new set of tools from you. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's go actually store this crap then. I don't think we can make any more preparations for tomorrow's sheep festival. Doghouse has no use. I know an HMDS I could talk to it and play a weird mini game. What? What? You go in the fridge, don't you? Wait, we have herb? Huh. I forget about a lot of things. I wonder how long ago I put that in there. It was sometime in the summer because... Crap only comes this summer. Oh well. Plenty of oranges. That's always nice. I think you can buy this little stretch too, but... Actually, I'm pretty sure you can buy nearly the entire game. Because you can buy anything that people won't move on to. I forgot that R mode is a thing, although the only game I've ever actually needed it was Room Factory 1 and 2 just because, oh god, the accuracy on that game is horrible. <laughs> I can't steal your fruit. Or your corn, because corn's a vegetable, not a fruit. Wait, technically the only fruit there is tomatoes. And I don't think I can find anyone else to talk to that easily. Okay, let's just ship crap and go to bed. So next time we finally have our sheep festival where we're going to see if our sheep is better than everyone else's, although we'll probably lose this year, and we're going to have to wait until next year to actually kick butt with it. So, yeah, I look forward to that. It's our sheep's time to shine, and I'm probably wasting my time, but who gives a crap? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs>